Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am Bayana. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of Fenty Beauty. Y'all voted on Instagram, Fenty Beauty came in first, NARS came in second, and NYX came in third. <laughs> if I seem a little aggravated, I'm so sorry, because I slightly am. This is my third time recording this video. The first time I fucked up, the second time, the sound was fucked up, and this time, I'm fucked up because I have been drinking my sorrows away for the fact that I've done this video so many times. So, it's not going to be so much of a first impressions anymore. It's, I kind of know what I like and what I don't like, and there are, there are some things in here that I haven't tried yet, so I'm going to try some of the things that I haven't tried. So, let's jump into the video. First things first, I am going to do my eyes. Um, I am going to prime my eyes with her concealer in the color 360. Y'all, I got my lashes done and it's time for a fill, but do y'all like them? I'm trying to figure out if I want to actually get a fill or if I should just stick to putting strips on. They're so convenient. I like waking up in the morning and just being able to go somewhere without looking completely crazy and not having to do anything to my face. But then at the same time, I kind of miss putting strips on. So I'm just like, I don't know what to do. This shit is going everywhere. What am I doing? And for everybody who does their base first, like their face, and then do their eyeshadow, I don't care. I'm not a professional. I like to do my eyeshadow first. Okay, this is what works for me. Y'all, this shit's going everywhere. And now I got it like on my nose. Oh, it's okay. It's I tipsy makeup reviews. All right, for eyeshadow, I got her Moroccan Spice eyeshadow palette. And I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I don't know how this works. Like, I don't, I, please don't think I'm dumb. But I don't know how this works. The names that's on the back and that's supposed to court, I don't get it. So I'm just going to point to it and be like, ooh, this is the color I use because I don't know what the fuck color is which. And I'm not about to lie to y'all. So what's up? I'm going to do the orange shade first. This one. Whatever it's called. First of all, this mirror on here is the truth. And I apologize if I'm very quiet during this part, but this takes a lot of concentration. I can't believe I really got all this concealer right here. What is that noise? Is the microphone picking that up? I'm not recording this video again, so I hear some water dripping. I don't know if it's raining or what, but if the microphone is picking it up, y'all are getting whatever sound I give y'all today. I'm sorry. I'm not recording this video a fourth time. All right, oh. All right we'll try that again. All right. Now I am going to go in with this darker brown shade. I'm going to go lower with this darker brown shade. I think I had too much to drink for this tutorial. Alright, then I'm going to blend everything together. Both of those. I'm going to take like this gold green right here. Good. I'm not a describe the color. It's like a gold green. I wish I can give you the name, but I don't get it. I don't understand. I sprayed my brush at rose water. All right. I'm going to take just a tiny bit. When I say a tiny bit, I'm going to take a little bit of this blue and put it in the center. There's like no fallout. Then I'm going to take this like super dark green. And I'm going to put it on my outer corner. All right, I'm going to finish my eyes after I'm done doing my base. So 
I did pick up her foundation in the color 420. Like I said, this is my third time doing this damn video. So I do know at this point that I actually do like this foundation, but mixed with oil um, because it's very dry and I have super dry skin. So I didn't get her primer because I think her primer is like soft matte too. And I didn't want to put on a matte foundation and a matte primer because I'm like, I have dry skin, so that doesn't make sense. I'm gonna use her foundation brush. I actually really, 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 really like this brush. Um, I don't know if I like that concealer brush, but I actually really do like this foundation brush. Let me tell y'all something, when I'm done, if I look like a bad bitch, my girlfriend is taking me somewhere. I really don't care. I was about to say, ooh, let me get that lace. Let me tell y'all right now, this will be my last lace front. I'm not doing these no more because my edges is like, damn bitch, can we get our follicles back? My edges are suffering, suffering. My edges are literally screaming to have their follicle friends back. It's a dub for these lace fronts, bruh. All right, now here comes the difficult part, y'all. So I did this video twice, and the first time that I put this, the first time that I put this concealer on, it lifted product off of my face. Like there was, I literally, when I was blending it, it was lifting products, like the foundation stuff, like everything was coming off of my face. The second time I used it, I tried it in a different way and it didn't lift the product of my face, but it blended away. Like you couldn't see it. Like it just blended and went bye-bye. It was like, bye bitch. So I'm gonna try it again for a third time to see if it does the same thing because it feels really good. I really like the applicator. The color is beautiful, but once I start blending it, I can't see it anymore. So. I'm gonna try it again. I'm scared. Okay. Heavenly Father, please do not let any of this product lift off my face and I start blending. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You know what? I think I know what the problem is. Don't let it dry. I feel like I need to do this and I need to do this in sections because I only did it on my chin and that's because I blended it. It didn't do it anywhere else on my chin, but that's because I blended my chin last. So you probably just need, this is one of the concealers that you need to blend it right after you put it on and not let it set first. Yeah, way better. Okay, so it's not bad. I just have to do one side at a time. And you gotta work fast because <laughs> the bitch wants to dry up immediately. This is a lot of product though. And usually if I like put this much concealer on, bitch, my face looks like a, a fucking ring light. So the fact that I'm not like super highlighter right now is like, hmm, cause I did, I just put a lot of goddamn concealer on. <clears throat> Alright, I'm done with the concealer. I mean, I like the concealer. I don't like it better than my NARS though. So I probably would all, still always reach for my NARS, but I did like it on my eyes. I would use that concealer again for my eyeshadow. So I got her powder in Honey. So I'm gonna bake with it. <coughs> Cut. I usually don't like baking with any type of um, colored powder because I feel like it changes the color of the concealer. But since I had to use so much concealer and I don't feel like it really brightened anything I'm gonna bake with this instead of just setting and then we'll see if it brightens it because I did pick a color that said like when you go to 
when you go to Sephora, some of them say Brighton and Honey said Brighton. So I am going to try to brighten myself up. I'm like so scared to bake because I know that this foundation is supposed to, I know that this foundation is supposed to be really dry and I don't want to make it any drier, but I need to brighten my eyes. All right, while I'm baking, I am going to use her fly liner. And I'm gonna wing myself out. I can't even see what the fuck I'm doing because of these lashes, what the fuck? This one reminds me of the Kat Von D one, but it's way better because I don't find myself constantly going trying to get product out. Like I like the Kat Von D applicator, but I'm like, damn cat, give me some fucking product. The fuck? Fuck my shit up. Per use. Fucking fucking fix it. Fuck, the devil will not win today. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna kick off this bake and pray that I am not dry as all fucks. All right, my skin is looking a little more thirsty than I would like. I'm gonna use rose water. Woo, my ship is dry. All right, next, let me do some highlighter. Y'all, okay, so like I said, this ain't my first time doing this video. So some of this is not a first impressions, but this is bomb. This How Many Carrots Diamond Bomb thingamajiggy she got going on is my favorite thing that she, she has come out with favorite 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 this is so pretty i thought it was gonna be ashy i don't need nothing else on my face but this is some rose water swear to god swear to god swear to god i look wet And I know I got on too much highlighter. So I'm going to mix the orange and that dark brown and put it on my lower lash line. Okay. And then I'm going to take this icy white shade and put it on my inner corner. Why does this look pink? Okay, so this white shade goes on pink, and I don't know how I feel because I thought it was white. Am I tripping? Yeah, this shit's definitely going on pink. Yeah, so heads up, guys. This, this white shade ain't white. This shit is pink. I mean, it's very cool that it does that, but that ain't, that ain't what I wanted. That ain't what I asked for. That's not what I ordered. That ain't what I wanted. Hmm. I got her matchstick. In the truffle, um, I'm going to contour. And I am going to try to get rid of my double chin without getting surgery because, y'all, I really, really, really am considering doing Cabela. And... If somebody has gotten it before or know someone who has gotten Cabela, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if you don't know what Cabela is, Cabela is when they take a needle and put like a bunch of dots on your dot. Look at that. Look, look. Look at that. They take like a bunch, they put like a bunch of little dots and then they, um, basically inject you with something. I don't know what it is they inject you with because I'm not a doctor, but they inject you with something and <clears throat> it basically melts the fat away over time. And I think you have to do like three sessions. And honestly, I just want to know if it's painful because at this point, <sighs> this double chin got to go. And I just need to realize that I will never be 
115 again. This blends beautifully. I wish I would have got a color darker though. All right, let me see if I can make myself look more chiseled, more. While that does its thing, I'm going to try, let's see, let's see, let's see, what haven't I tried? I tried this yesterday, this is a hell no. Absolutely not, this is not it. The formula is amazing, this color on me, absolutely not. This, I like better than the original one. This is the, the one, um, this is fussy. I don't know what the original gloss bomb is called. What is it called? I don't know what the first one is called. I thought I loved that one. Fussy is it for me. Fussy is it. Child, let me dust this off before I, ugh. Why am I putting on this fucking powder on? Knowing how my skin is. Let me quench my face again. Um, I wanted to try diamond milk. Oh. Wait a minute. I feel like her products are like a surprise because they're never what you think they're going to be. I did not. This is like a regular lip glow. I thought it was going to be like a, like this. Okay. I like this. Let me put my fussy back on. Look at that glow though. Bomb. All right. She don't have... She doesn't have blush, so I'm trying to improvise with something that I already have. Okay, I'm gonna use Fenty per kilowatt in, which one is this? Ginger Binge. I'm about to wait the fucking 10 minutes. It's not bad. And then I'm gonna spray all my sins away once more. All right, guys, so this is the final look. I actually really do like most of the products. I really like the eyeshadow palette. It's very pigmented, and I had no fallout at all. I did not have to wipe under my eyes for fallout. Um, I like the fly liner. I like the foundation more than I thought I would, um, as long as I'm using oil because it is, it is a little dry. I like the powder for setting. I probably won't bake with it again because I did look, I was really, really, really dry after I baked, but it is a pretty color. So I probably would use it again for setting. The concealer is probably going to be a pass for me because it just, it just took so much for me to make it work. Except for, I really, really like the way it um, performed with my eyeshadow. Fussy is a yes. I'm going to say it again. This is a no. This is a pass for me. The color, the formula is great. I like the red one. I like the brown one, the black one. This for me is, uh, is a no. This is good. I just feel like I should have got a color darker, but then the color darkness is like a little too dark. So maybe she'll come out with something that's in between. This, first of all, she can get rid of every product she has and sell this and still make a fortune. Fussy is coming everywhere with a bitch. I feel like she needs to come out with more products. Like, can I get some Fenty mascara? Can I get a Fenty setting spray? Can I get Fenty blush? Can we get Fenty liquor? I mean, I'm saying, can I get the Fenty prayer? Because I feel like, bitch, I'm trying to be like you. What did you pray for to be this rich? All right, guys, that concludes today's video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video, which is going to be me doing a full face of $1 makeup. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and please leave a comment to let me know what you want to see me do a video of. So I will see you next time, babes. Bye.